Ah, there you are, dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Fair enough. Great suit. Hello. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes. My friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. You can A very good choice, sir. The heavy brow from all the... Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. Sounds like fun. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on! I want his hat. Give me a hat. My good- I'll shoot it off his head. Could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? Yeah. This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Make him look like a prince, sir. Um, this one. Yep. There, very smart. You look dapper, sir. Very Come on, dapper. let's get to the docks. I've arranged some transportation for us. Get in the car. Hope you have a successful evening, gentlemen. Why, well, thank you, sir. George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad to Prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't win any up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't Hamlet. So, who's the mark? Are you all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune and... <sighs> Posery of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. 
but the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? Indeed. Famous words. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. There are searches when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, gentlemen. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Hello. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The table's the weight. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can I get a cocktail? Let's go make some money. Hopefully I'll love. Take a seat, sir. I will when I get up. Yep. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Blythe. Good evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, oh. how are we all fared? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not... Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> to hell with it. I can see the couch. You know what? Yeah. Call. Here we go then. Hello, my ladies. Damn it. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting into hosiery, but... I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. Now, what the hell? It's Do only it. money. Interesting. A pair of cowgirls. <laughs> Shh. 
Shit. Shit. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning? Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Hillbilly? Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Let's not waste any more time here. All in. Don't worry, sir. Well, Everyone is the officer. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Hurricanes. Do this. Very good, but not good hey. enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace-high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but, um, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. Monsieur? I'm You're having way, quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. That's really odd. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, oh. I know. This guy needs to be drowned. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. He just took a shot at every single person in the world. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <laughs> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. Hey, gun, you I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. Huh? Good night, bitch. Shit, let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe. Let's get out of here. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Get out of here. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. I have a gun belt, but I have a gun. Is that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. No, it wasn't and a gunshot. I don't know what how exactly about. are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I'd give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, yep. senor! I hope okay. you had fun, sir! <laughs> In the time of my life.
You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> ah, look, there's your friend. Friend is not a no good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. There he is. Now, oh, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. <laughs> Come on, Arthur! Why is my sensitivity so high? Let's go up, Arthur! Yep. It's just a minor setback. Minor? Getting shot at. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? Uh, a few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch, uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss. Uh, a Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. You came. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in the wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Otherwise, you'll have to sneak past the guards. Jump in. Even in the random game, let's for it. Hey, Tom. Picking up? Yep. Supposed to meet the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then.
not even looking in the back. Great security. One with a light, uh, I guess. You must be damn Barry. Who? <clears throat> what? Quieten yourself, friend. This won't take long. <laughs> Let's punch you in the face. <clears throat> damn Barry. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office? Does that seem yeah, right important up. right now? No. I need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. I... I... Damn, Barry. Feel good? Think, man. Mind is a terrible thing to lose, especially over <laughs> such a nice <laughs> floor as this. No. Okay. What was that? It's here. It's here. Thank you, fast. Thank you. You done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. No, nope. Danbury. 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 You okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes. It's just I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. Mm. Good art, Alpha. Hey, 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 hold it right there. Weapons on the ground and hands in the air. Easy now, fellas. Now, we won't tell you again. Oh, shit. Take this. You're going to die. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 
reload. Into a firefight. How is this guy still alive? There is. I'm your mother, bitch. Happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry, he was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were going to enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. Go we'll see old Dutchie boy. There you are. Come on. Keep walking. You're late. A couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave. Forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear, be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific, an untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. <sighs> We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now, we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on! Ladies and gentlemen, Robin. this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now remember, we just want money. Don't make us kill you. Mr. M, leave these fine folks so they're valuable. Mr. The button, M, the get that room back there. All your money now. Don't dying. make me ask it's twice. It's yours. Not mine. Pop it. Kindly open that door. Now, I'm gonna need everything you got on you. I've nothing more to give you. I said, open the gate and let my back. acquaintance in. Give me yes. your money. Of course. Ain't worth dying. All right, there's everything, okay? And Help me! All your me. money you now. To get Oops. A oh, Please, I don't have anything else on me. Must have some moment. Okay. <laughs> There's Give me nothing much here. You got. What? Quick. There's okay. nothing really here. Oh, it's yours. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you. Behave. We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. Open it. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! 
There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn! We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Come on now! We got you surrounded! That's greasy son now. of a bitch! He set us up! You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something! The trolley. The trolley! Follow me, gentlemen! Run, motherfuckers, run! Slowing down, run. What the fuck are you doing? Jesus. Sit down, bitch. Shoot him, man. Jesus. Where's my tonics? Nope. Take a gun! What are you doing, Dave? Okay, we might need it. Ooh, 
straight in the eyeball. Take a seat, pal. Pretty good body armor. Shit, Alpha, let's go. You okay, Doug? Look a real pang on the head back there. I'm seeing three of everything. You stay down, and I'll hold him off. Coming from behind you. Get rid of him. Look, we ain't done yet. This is only gonna end. I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, let's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Well, we each got... $15. Oh, <laughs> and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> No Played shit. me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Jose agrees. Even after that? Uh, especially after that. Uh, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, you can't win them all. Good out, Lenny. Fifteen dollars and thirty-three cents. <laughs> 